In 2020, Klaus Schwab of the World Economic Forum warned of an impending cyber attack that will take down all of society. We all know, but still pay insufficient attention to the frightening scenario of a comprehensive cyber attack, which would bring to a complete halt to the power supply, transportation, hospital services, our society as a whole. In 2022, Joe Biden stated that sending tanks to Ukraine is called World War III. The idea, the idea that we're going to send in offensive equipment and have planes and tanks and trains uh, going in with American pilots and American crews, just understand, don't kid yourself, no matter what you all say, that's called World War III. Earlier this month, Managing Director of the World Economic Forum, Jeremy Jurgens, says that a catastrophic cyber event will likely occur in the next two years. The most striking finding that we found is that 93% of cyber leaders and 86% of cyber business leaders believe that the geopolitical instability makes a catastrophic cyber event likely in the next two years. This far exceeds anything that we've seen in previous surveys. This week, a German foreign minister casually stated that they are at war with Russia. And therefore, I've said already in the last days, yes, we have to do more to defend Ukraine. Yes, we have to do more also on tanks. But the most important and the crucial part is that we do it together and that we do not do the blame game in Europe because we are fighting a war against Russia and not against each other. Thank you. President Joe Biden responds by sending 31 M1 Abrams tanks to Ukraine. That today, today I'm announcing that the United States will be sending 31 Abrams tanks to Ukraine. And now all of the media is warning of nuclear war or a Russian cyber attack. That'll be the first time they actually discuss it in Congress, when we are hit with a massive cyber attack from Russia in response. If you are not suspicious by now, then you are not paying attention. Our government is not at war with Russia. They are at war with the American people. And in order to build back better, they need their cyber attack. Now they have a cover story and the media is sticking their finger into the PTSD wounds of all Americans so that we do nothing but sit at home in fear and wait for the end. Reporting for InfoWars, this is Greg Reese. Thank you for watching the latest Greg Reese Report. Be sure to go to reesreport.com to see my latest videos, sign up for my free newsletter, and subscribe for exclusive content. And be sure to support my sponsor at infowarstore.com. In the year 2000, Alex Jones's film, Dark Secrets Inside Bohemian Grove, showed the world how our so-called elite leaders practice mock ritual sacrifices in private. Next summer sets us free. In 2007, Alex Jones releases Endgame, exposing the world elite's plans for covertly using biological weapons against all of mankind. And by the time they launched their attack in 2020, Alex Jones's InfoWars and our audience were there to warn the people of the deadly vaccines that we knew were coming. This is why they attack us. This is why we need your support. Because we tell the truth, Alex Jones was right. Join the resistance, buy products, donate to the cause, share the links, join us in the fight for freedom, and help us defeat the New World Order.